Okay, so we're going to do our usual breading station or dredging station, however you want to call it. We're going to need our flour, our breadcrumbs, and our egg wash. I'm going to go ahead and crack these eggs and get them all beaten up. Oh, might want to take that one out. Oh, Lordy. Let me tell you, that flu was no fun. First day, I literally thought it might have been my last. Okay, I'm going to beat these eggs up. Okay, I felt like being a little different with our breading today, so I went with half of plain breadcrumbs, and then I have some panko breadcrumbs, about half and half here. We're going to season these up. Again, as always, you can season your breadcrumbs however you would like. I am going to do something a little different again today with the seasoning. I'm going to use this all-purpose Greek seasoning. It's got don't have my glasses. It's got salt, black pepper, cornstarch, garlic, uh, onion powder, I believe, oregano, and some other stuff in here. So it's got the salt in here, so I don't need to add any extra salt. And I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper just for a little kick. I think with uh, my flour, I am going to season my flour a little bit just with salt and pepper. Now, I know <laughs> some people, I'm thinking about a certain someone that likes to season his egg wash. By all means, go for it. Okay, I got some salt and I've got some pepper that I'm going to put in my flour. And get my get my flour and my breadcrumbs all mixed up. I have no certain amount of measurements on these uh, breadcrumbs and flour. Just put enough for the amount of chicken that you have. I'm only going to be cutting up two chicken breasts. Now I'm just going to cut our chicken breasts into strips. You can make them as thick or as thin as you like. These are pretty well trimmed of the fat and everything, so I don't need to do anything extra there. You may need to take off some of the extra fat if you desire, okay? We are ready to bread these up. First thing we do is coat our chicken strips into the flour, then into our egg wash. Drip off the excess, and into our breadcrumbs. Okay, flour. Egg wash. And our breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and I'll be right back. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spray the top side of these strips, which I just did. I'm going to put these on 400 degrees for 10 minutes. After the first five minutes, I'm going to check them and probably flip them over. So we're going to start out at 400 for 10 minutes and flip at five, probably. Okay, the first five minutes is up. Let's take a pee. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip these over. 
Okay, we're gonna let these go for the remainder of the five minutes. And we may or may not add time, we will see. Okay, our five minutes is up on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick temp on these with my wonderful slow thermometer. I think we are looking for 165 on these. Hey, why we can while well, I have a minute here since this thing is so slow. If you have never done hot dogs in your air fryer, please try it. They're, they are absolutely wonderful air fried. Okay, we are not quite there. We are, well, we are at 150. I'm gonna go ahead give these another flip and I'm going to go another five minutes on 400 and we should be good to go Dun -dun. okay we are good I'm going to take these out so for a quick recap on what we did for temperature and time we did 400 degrees for a total of 15 minutes Remember to flip your chicken. Okay, I plated up one of our strips. Nice and crunchy. I'll go ahead and take a bite. Nice and crunchy and tender. I like that Greek seasoning. I'm going to show you again real quick because I'm not sure if I got it on camera well for you earlier. What is it? Cavenders? Before I go, I meant to bring this up at the beginning of the video. This is probably going to be another week where I'm only able to get one video up. I usually record over the weekends and I was sick. Today is Monday and this is going to be the only video that I'm going to have time to put up. So I hope you all forgive me. Everything should be back to normal next week. I would like to thank my new subscribers. I'm getting a whole bunch lately. Thank you so much. Okay everyone, I hope you found this video helpful and that you give it a try. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon.